Очередное противостояние М1 Selection, турнира М1 Челлендж 88. Интереснейший поединок двух непобежденных, молодых, но очень перспективных российских спортсменов, которые делают первые, но очень уверенные шаги в мировом ММА. Знакомьтесь с этими спортсменами. Все внимание на экран. Меня зовут Сергей Клюев, я из города Сочи, представляю клуб «Сочи Стар». Мой соперник Александр Осетров, хороший ударник, неплохо борется. Думаю, покажем им хороший, зрелищный, бескомпромиссный бой. Александр, не пытайся меня удивить, это сделаю я. Меня зовут Александр Осетров, я представляю город Омск, школу «Шторм» и команду «Новый поток». Сильные стороны, вот, ну, думаю, будут у меня в борьбе, то, что... Он делает амбишины неплохо. Буду вести поединок весь в стойке. И, ну и там посмотрим, как бы, бой есть бой. И ни от чего бегать не буду. Сергей, я думаю, наш бой запомнится зрителям. Уважаемые поклонники боевых искусств, представляем вашему вниманию трехраундовый бой в легчайшем весе. В синем Гурейджа спортсмен из города Сочи представляет клубы «Сочи Стар» и «Львиное сердце». Встречайте! Сергей Клюев! Сергей Клюев, Россия! Nineteen-year-old Sergey Klyuev from Russia started training in MMA four years ago at age 15 with no prior combat sports or martial arts experience. Is an MMA professional. Five fights. Five wins, all by way of first round finish. Four submissions and one straight knockout. Luyev, that rare combination of a fighter who can set a furious and frantic pace while also being very intelligent in doing so. In his five previous pro MMA bouts, Luyev has never been beyond the three minute and 32 second mark of round number one. This clearly a big step up in competition for Sergey Kluyev. Not must win, not make or break, but a crossroads fight for Sergey Kluyev, as it is for his undefeated opponent, Alexander Ossetrov, who you will see momentarily. Спортсмен в Красном Гурыджа представляет команду «Новый поток», авторскую школу «Шторм» и клуб «Боец». Приветствуйте, Александр Осетров! Year old Alexander Ossetrov. Two years 
older than his opponents in this bantamweight fight, Sergey Gluyev. Like Gluyev, a rapidly emerging undefeated prospect. Also draw three fights, three wins as an MMA pro. Part of Alexander Slomenko's fight team. Like his mentor, Alexander Slomenko, a very creative striker. Likes to throw a lot of spinning strikes, a lot of big knees. Sotrov told me, I'm willing to take my time. I don't want to get sucked into a brawl. It takes me all 15 minutes to defeat Sergei Kluyev, so be it. The emphasis is on victory, not on a finish, although obviously a finish would be appreciated. One of the major cultural differences between boxing and MMA that you simply would not see a fight like this in boxing with two young, undefeated, rapidly emerging prospects. 5-0 Sergey Kluyev versus 3-0 Alexander Ossetrov. Not a criticism on boxing, simply an observation, but good for MMA. Here's the machine. Ladies and gentlemen, this is an M1 challenge bout in the bantamweight division. Now introducing your fighter in the blue corner. This fighter is 19 years old. He weighed in at 61.3 kilograms. He stands 174 centimeters tall and has a perfect unbeaten record of five wins with no losses. Representing Sochi Star team and Lionheart team, Sergey Kluyev. And now welcome his opponent in the red corner. This fighter is 21 years old. He weighed in at 61.2 kilograms. He stands 176 centimeters tall and also has a perfect record of three wins and no losses. Representing New Stream Team, Storm Fighting School, and the Wets Team, Alexander Osetrov. <laughs> and the referee is about Victor Korniev. Парни, слушай внимательно, работаем три раунда по пять минут. Еще раз напоминаю, головой бить нельзя, по затылку, позвоночнику бить нельзя. Локти можно бить по корпусу, по ногам. В партере коленом ногой работаем только по корпусу, по ногам. Шорты, перчатки и каната не хватаем. Слушай меня на протяжении боя. Пожали руки. Разжись по голову. In the bantamweight division, Sergey Kluyev versus Alexander Osetrov. Round number one. Black trunks for Kluyev, blue and white trunks for Osetrov. Well, you called it earlier, Sean. This could be the fight of the night. Although we have two fantastic title bouts on later, these are two rising stars with unbeaten records. And what gets me is one of them is 19 years old, Kluyev. He fights like a seasoned pro. He's still a teenager. Kluyev, the confidence to just throw a switch kick. It's a hard inside kick from Ossetrov. Kluyev using that right at left hand, sorry, to pour out, just gauging the distance. Oh, tried for a spinning kick, but got punched in the back of the head as he turned. And the switch kick, counter on the outside kick. Nice counter, to be honest. The counter to a kick is another kick. Look at the hand positioning of Sergei Kluyev. Yeah, Kluyev is, is posting it out just so he can gauge the distance. He can either step in with a nice right hand or throw a kick. Nice check, though. Really turning over those kicks early in this fight. Oh, right hand. Also with power. I mean, it goes without saying, this is a big fight for both of these. They're both unbeaten. Down to the knees, Kluyev. Again, going with the high crotch, he'll pick it up and pull him through. He's trying to snatch the single on the high crotch. Oh, he gets it, but just to the knees, though. Osatov does well to get back to his feet. Goes for the ankle pick.
There's the body lock. Oh, he's left go of it. He did have his hands together. Kuyev. Good defense, though. Excellent balance from Alexander Ossetrov. Just driving pressure from Kluyev. There's the knee. 235 remaining round one. Kluyev trying to work for those double underhooks. Again, drops to his knees. It's, it's kind of dangerous, but Kluyev knows what he's doing. He rips up them legs. He's got it. Kluyev bringing the knees together. Well, Kluyev, he dropped to his knees while his opponent was standing. Very dangerous to do, but he managed to get through it. Gets the takedown, but only to the seat of his pants and Ossetrov. Kluyev sucking in the ankles. Lands the right hand. Got by Ossetrov. Full credit back to his feet, back to the center of the ring. Yeah, I just feel Ossetrov has the more power than the two. Like I said, Kluyev is only 19, still a teenager. We've seen him drop opponents, but the power seems to be coming from Ossetrov. 90 seconds remaining, round number one. This is now the deepest that Sergei Kluyev oh. has gone in any of his now this six pro MMA fights. Powerful kick to the body, and as Kluyev steps in, oh, he gets dropped. That was a big left hand, and Ossetrov, very patient, did not pounce. Shoots from the outside. Good defense there by Ossetrov. Interesting reaction machine to being dropped. Kluyev then shoots for a double. Needs to be careful getting the back taken. And it's the switch in the takedown for Ossetrov. In the side control. Slick from Alexander Ossetrov. He has plenty of time to work from side. Kluyev does have hold of a guillotine, but it's not going to work from side control. Any ground fighter will tell you that. It's a holding position right now. Saw the animated Alexander Slamenko in the corner of Alexander Ossetrov. Kluyev looking to his corner, was fishing for the Kimura, couldn't find it. Actually, Kluyev didn't look at his corner. He looked to, he looked in the crowd. Slamenko was giving advice to where he was looking because Slamenko was actually in the crowd and that's what he looked at. He looked over and smiled at him. Call for action from Victor Korniev in the final seconds of round number one. Tight waist cinch held by Ossetrov, and he holds it to the gong. Well, what a great round by these two young guys, but I give the round to Ossetrov. The striking was on point, it was more powerful. Defended the takedown well, actually got a takedown of his own, just beautiful work. Not far behind was Kluye, but he needs to do just a little bit more to win the second round. Spinning back fist, nothing there. Hard right hand on the temple, landed by Ossetrov. Ossetrov landing long strikes, jabs, right hands, teep kicks from distance and from range. It still amazes me how good Sergei Kluev is though, 19 years old. Alexander Sarnovsky, Andrei Korshkov in the corner. Sergei Kluyev, or rather of Alexander Ossetrov. Well, normally, after the first round, you go back to your corner, they give you a little bit of advice to change things up, and it only takes them a little bit of wise words from your cornermen to make you win the bout. So let's see what wise words they've had. Round number two. Because Kluyev is slightly down here. Nice left hook on the way out. There's that switch kick in the counter. Every time Kluyev throws a kick, the counter comes from Ossetrov. Again, every time. Perfect. Ossetrov really sits down and follows through on those low kicks. Oh! He backed off with his hands down. Not a wise thing to do when Ossetrov's coming forward. Is Kluyev run out of ideas? 
He's never had this kind of competition against him. It's normally him who's on the attack. It's him on the offense. It's him who's doing all the damage. And it bears repeating. This is the sixth pro MMA fight for Kluyev. He has never been beyond round number one. Five fights, five wins, five first round finishes. That is not the case tonight. But again, no disrespect to the previous opponents. Alexander Osatrov, a different level to face Louis, Sergei Kluyev. Kluyev hands are pretty low as well. As he's coming in, the hands are still low, and he's getting tagged on the way in. His body kick. Big body kick indeed, machine. Oh, it was high that time, Sean. Osatrov really finding his range here in round number two. Beautiful turn to the waist as Kluyev ran in. Figure four. Kluyev's got a figure four lock, he's latching it on. Just can't quite get a hold of his own wrist. With 10 now remaining round number two. Now he's got his wrist, now can he do anything with it? If he rips that arm free, he can go for the takedown. See the wrist control from Kluyev, but the takedown from Ossetrov. It's going to be very hard to put it on now because he's actually fell onto the arm. Osatov needs to put his knee on the elbow that's on the floor and help pull his arm through. See where the elbow is exposed there? He needs to put his right knee on that elbow and pull his arm out. But clearly he has left go. Right corner belongs to Kluyev, right corner belongs to Ossetrov. The momentum right now clearly belongs to Alexander Ossetrov, holding this way cinch. Kluyev taking himself down and into guard. Well, he doesn't want anything to do with the guard game of Kluyev. Back to the feet. Hard low kick from Ossetrov. Oh, again. Kluyev is running in with his hands down. And there again, he gets to... Oh, he's got it. There's the left hand. He managed to succeed that time. But if you notice, just before he did it, he ran in with his hands down without throwing. He's running and then punching. And that's what got him tagged twice. From the wizard. Rolling, looking for the armbar. Yeah, he's got a really weird side armbar there. It's kind of into an Uma Plata, but then changed to an armbar. All from a wizard, an interesting transition from Kluya. Whether he means to do this or not, but it's he's got it tied up, it's working. Just can't finish it though. Half can't open, half can't open her position. Now full can opener. Fishing for a triangle, but nothing there for Kluyev. Put the other leg, the right leg over and through. Now he does. It's looking straight armbar. He needs to well, going for a triangle. He needs to try and get the head down. He couldn't pull the head down, so the triangle wasn't successful. 45 seconds remaining round number two. Ossetrov stands, walks away. Yeah, Ossetrov needed to stand because those submission attempts are pretty good. Right hand. Delayed reaction. Just watch how he steps forward first before he punches. He steps forward, then throws a punch. But as he steps forward, Ossetrov sees it and then tags him first. So there you go, and again, he got caught with the right hand as he stepped in. A moment ago, Kluyev, it was a delayed reaction. He fell, but it was that right hand of Ossetrov. Well, 10 seconds of this second round, and it's been all Ossetrov. Unfortunately, the young man, 19 years old, Kluyev, has seems to be like a rabbit in the headlights. We are headed to the third and final round. We are online at OneGlobal.tv. Download the free One Global app. Confidence definitely growing of Alexander Ossetrov on the feet in round number two. The head kick not getting through, but still opening up with the head kick. 
Kucherov largely putting Kluyev on the defensive in the second round. And trying machine to keep the fight on the feet. As you mentioned in round two commentary, Kluyev trying to go to work on the ground. Ostatrov just not willing to play on the ground. Yeah, Kluyev needs to do something different here. He needs to stop stepping forward before he throws punches as well. The timing of Ostatrov is just, it's just too sharp. He might be able to do it with some of his other opponents, but this opponent, he just can't get away with it. I'd like to see him throw the punches and then move, instead of moving, then throw the punches. He's doing well on the ground as far as submission attempts are going, but just not enough to win the round. Two of the top young prospects, not just in M1's bantamweight division, but in all of M1. 5-0 Sergei Kluya versus 3-0 Alexander Ostatrov, third and final round. Hands very low for Kluyev to start this final round. Well, this is uncharted waters here for Kluyev. <laughs> Again, there, see how he steps without punching. Nice. Straight left from the southpaw stance inside kick. Oh, nice left hook. That worked better. That could be the key target. Luyev <laughs> clearly looking for a plan B and trying to snatch the high single, taking this fight to the ground. Needs to pull that ankle out if he can reach back. Reach behind and grab the ankle. There you go. He's got the foot. He's got the ankle. Now he needs to pull that through for it to get down. Trying to pull it through. He's got it. Good work. He, needed, he should have stepped over. He should have stepped over to mount. He may not have been sitting on the stomach, but he would have kept his opponent down a little bit longer. Going to go for a wizard throw here. Counter knee from Ostatrov and the turn. Oh, he's got himself caught in a, a single here. Looking to jump guard, then thought better of it. Yeah, he tried to jump guard and get a triangle on the way down. That's why he's holding the wrist. I'm surprised Ostatrov is not breaking free. 45 remaining third and final round. Well, that was Kluyev that got the takedown. He triangled the legs and sat through. He knows his submissions are better, but he's got his arm trap look. He's be careful, doesn't get arm triangled here. Definitely had an arm choke position, but so tough to pass for Ostatrov to the right. Gets the corner cushions, gets the turnbuckle. The fact that Clue, you have triangled the legs of Ostatrov machine, taking this fight to the ground, I think shows his frustration. Yeah, without a doubt. I mean, like I say, he's very young. To get this far in M1 and, you know, 5-0, and oh, that, that's an impressive record. You know, you hear so many times when people say, you know, he's going to be the next champ. Yeah, sure, but he's got to take losses along the way. To be honest, sometimes losses make you a better fighter. You go back, you analyze, you understand where you went wrong, you train a bit harder, you train for different things and it does make you a better fighter. Rolling through. Snatch the leg. No chance of a knee bar right now to stack from Ostatrov. Again, he has the arm trap. Trying to go for the sweep. Great balance from Alexander Ostatrov. Sitting high and heavy. Get rolling through, looking knee bar. Yeah, trying to pull that leg through. 15 remaining third and final round of this bantamweight fight. Again, he rolls through for that leg, for that knee bar, doesn't get it. Can we go back to what Alexander Ostatrov said in the fighter meeting yesterday? I'm going to take my time. I'm willing to go all 15 minutes. This is a patient, mature, very professional performance from Alexander Ostatrov. And again, well, 
It's been a good dominant three-round performance, to be honest. Referee telling Luyev to get on the inside of the ropes there. That's been a knee bar attempt. He might have it this time. Looking hard for the knee bar. Nothing there Slight, yet. Slightly off center. Now he's going for the figure four toe hold. This could rip through. Turning on the toe hold. Again going straight knee bar. It's just slightly off center. See how the knees come through the body. He needs to get that knee on the center of his tummy. Stacked a counter from Ossetrot. And looking knee bar. He needs to finish. He's got to work. It's only three seconds to go. Well, what a valiant effort. But I think the 5 0 has finally got his first defeat. He's a young man. Nothing to be ashamed of. And I'm sure he will come back stronger. Machine, full credit to both of these fighters. Both know that they are highly touted prospects. Willing to sign the contract. 5 0 versus 3 0. Well, th these are future stars. Both guys are future stars. 19 years old. I remember what I was doing at 19 years old. I certainly wasn't winning fights as good as this guy. Masatrov just two years older than Kluyev at age 21. To reiterate the machine's point, regardless of the outcome, I'm not privy to the judges' scores. Three judges scoring ringside for M1. Certainly looks to be a victory for Alexander Ossetrov. Both fighters, regardless of the outcome, we knew this going in, have massively bright futures in this sport. Let's go to the machine. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of action, we go to the judges' scorecard for a unanimous decision in favor of your winner, Alexander Ossetrov! That is a thorough, quality performance from Alexander Ossetrov. Now 4-0 in his pro MMA career. Sergei Kluyev drops to 5-1. Again, full credit to these two extremely talented young fighters. Hard fought, Ossetrov. Very patient, very skilled, dictating the pace. Sergey Kluyev wanted a rapid start. Opened up with flash, switch kick, spinning back fist. Ossetrov, though, settled into his rhythm. More importantly, settled into his range. Running in and landed that big left hand in round number two. Flash knockdown. Fatic Alexander Shlomenko. Gluyev going knee bar, going toe hold. Final seconds of the fight. But the night belongs to Alexander Ossetrov. The winner, by way of unanimous decision, Alexander Ossetrov defeats Sergei Gluyev.